Hello everyone, Nikki Backerl D'Angelo here for Star Citizen Edix Anonymous. Today, 3.9 has gone live. Now, I was under the impression that we were maintaining all of our previous... Like, like everything was carrying over. Where we were, what we were doing, how much we earned, what ships we had. And I'm not so sure anymore, but we're going to jump in and this is just going to be a first impressions video. I know you've probably seen these because uh, there's been many people that have uh, have done the what was going on in the PTU. I, I didn't actively participate. I, I went into the PTU for a little bit, but I did not actively participate in the PTU because honestly, things change so quickly and I honestly just wanted to wait for it to come out because that's when it really matters what's going on when it comes out how things look how things work and that's all that really matters we're going to begin our day at new babbage we're going to wake up there and we're going to have some fun now here is join friends i doesn't look like i have any online right now that i can go and see so we're just going to go and jump in and have a good time. This should be interesting. I haven't, yeah, I haven't really done the investigations of everything over here. And it's because I like when the game comes out for me to be able to um, enjoy it in a world that will stay persistent and that still evidently is not happening and i don't know why all right here we are waking up in our new babbage apartment our habitat let's get up let's see if this is a lot nicer than our previous apartments really pretty nice couch can you sit on it yes you can all right, looks like a Dyson little fan back there. I wonder if they have to pay royalties to Dyson for that. Okay, I'm liking it. Oh, we have a window. Oh, I like that. Uh, I'm not so keen on the window being where my bed is. I would have put the bed against the wall and had that been a much bigger window, but whatever. Everything looks gorgeous. I guess there's a lot of working room in here. We have a nice bathroom. And it's got a it's got a window on the door. I wonder if the window when you're in there if the window is uh, you can't see through it. Who knows? Still can't put my stuff over here. Any cabinets that open? Nothing over here. Everything's typical over here. I think things will open and close over here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we're cool. Like it. New place. And really nice. Cool. Looks like uh, that really big glow that was happening over here is gone. I can look out the window and see the beautiful sights of New Babbage. Microtech. All right, looks like uh, we have another observation window right over here by the elevator. We could look in a different direction. Looking nice out there. All right, let's come up to our new little elevator button. Now we have some armor and clothing to protect the wearer from temperature ranges far above and below. All right, let's get in here. And I believe we should be able to go up here and just scroll down and go to the lobby. Awesome. Learning a lot here already. And the door opens. Somebody looking at their Moby glass. Are they? Yep, they are real live people. All right. Microtech's looking nice. We can get down to the loop below us. What else is over here, though? 
that's the metro loop is this just is this area just where our this is called the aspire grand so this is a hotel all right do i have any outstanding finds i could tell you what it hmm, doesn't look like it All right, I guess we go down this way. And this is how we get to the metro. I thought there was like a common area and everything. So the metro loop, spaceport one way, the commons the other way. Let's go check out the commons, see what Microtech has to offer. All right. Careful, doors are now closed. Interesting. All right, so nice, pretty. I could see outside, see the wonderful sights. A little glowy in here, the lights are, but really nice looking. Looks like we're coming up on the commons. And slowing down. And let's get out the door. And we're in the commons. So we're going to go upstairs and take a look and see what the commons are all about. Everything's like these purples and greens and blues. Okay, not really gorgeous. Oh, look at this. A terrarium, no fauna in it. I would have had some like newts or other types of garden lizards down there. Maybe a snake. <laughs> All right, we're in the commons. And the commons is kind of a place where I guess you come to eat. So we should be able to buy food and water here, shouldn't we? Bye. So that just went down. How do I put this into my inventory? I forget. Do I point at it? Drop, place, drink. Place. How do I put it in my inventory? Carry. Carry. Oh, that's great. I know that there's a way to put it in my inventory. Now I have a helmet on, so I can't do anything with it. So I could put it in... So that's where I would be able to do. And I can't put it into something over here. I can't put it into my personal inventory. Why does that not, why does that not surprise me? All right, so that doesn't surprise me. I have no idea how to put that anywhere. I can't drink it because of this. If I go here, I dropped it. So in order for you to be able to drink it, you actually have to take your helmet off. So if I unequip my helmet, so unequip it and save it, and then get out, I should be able to drink that. All right, that gives me a little bit, right? I have one on the ground there. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I thought you would be able to put this into your personal inventory. 
makes no sense that you can't. Is that my inspect? I have to take a look at keys here with y'all folks. I have no idea what's going on here. So if we look at the key bindings, let's see what they do. I was just saying, up. Oh, there's nothing there for J and K. Well, K is close all doors. That's that's in flight. But what about when I'm just on foot? J weapons customize, equip, attach inventory. Quick interact is F equip. Accept. So I should be able to go to the I button, and I should be able to put it here. Store all commodities. It's not working. Well, here's our status over here. We're perfect across the board. All right. So I'm a little bit, a little bit flustered with how to make that work. So I'll have to work on that and learn a little bit more about this. All right. If we go up this way, we're going to go to incredible fun. There should be a mall up this way or Wally's bar. One of the two. That's Microtech. It's a fun place. As we get closer and closer to things. All right, we're in the promenade now. In the promenade, we should see a lot more things. I think there were just food courts and stuff in the other place. So this is the promenade. We can go to different places. There's restrooms over here, which are locked. What's on the other side? You have fire exits. Okay, so fire exits and restrooms. And this looks like Wally's bar. Now up to the left we have apparel and we can buy some cool clothes. Uh, they're still all unisex. I don't know why they're doing it that way. They tried to explain it, and I just don't agree with it. Where did she get those shoes? All right, that's my personal inventory. my actions did I just put back on my helmet I did all right so learning a little bit more about things there is pretty cool there's that stupid drink I've been carrying around all right let's buy those shoes see what happens got the money for this stuff. I could go make more at any point. I could change if I want now. That's good. So we have new clothes, new, lots of new stuff over here. Oh, this looks like a jacket for outside. 5,600. Okay, we'll get that. I'll be able to make money real, rather quickly around here, so it's not a big deal. And then we'll need the boots. All right. I'm happy. Let's go see if we can get some missions and get out of here. Uh, get that off the screen over there. All right, let's go around. Let's see what else is here. This Uza, which looks like a cuisine place. It is Neo-Imperial Cuisine. And then we have a... Looks like a stairwell back into Wally's. It is. 
around the other side now. I wonder what's down here. Bunch of kegs and everything. There's just another exit over here. Molly's Bar, pretty cool. Looks like a club I worked in once. And it's empty, of course. This is one of the things that drives me crazy about this game. The set is being built, but the... What the hell is that? Where did he get that? That's pretty cool. Nobody interacts with you yet. Can you talk to anybody? You should have been a mission giver here. And look, they're all just not moving. What if I said I wanted to sit here? Did I sit here? Nope. All right, so Wally's Bar, kind of cool. Disappointment at the same time like a lot of things in this game so far. There's a lot of cool things that are starting to come out. Oh, this is your dance floor? Alright, so are there emotes for uh, dancing? As I go from down to up. <laughs> Alright, I know that there's an emote button somewhere. I'll have to look those up in a little bit. I have too many keyboard strokes to remember in this game. There's my lights. Where would you put that if I were you? I have no idea where they would put that. I'm going to have to look up that too. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is where you throw your stuff away. continue to walk around while he's just for a little bit. Another dance floor. What looks like another way out. Oh, that was for apparel. That's where we came from before, so we'll walk through here. There was something on the other side also that I want to go check out. So there was apparel this way and a couple of places that aren't open. And then Whammers is up over here. Let's go take a look at Whammers. All right, Whammers is a food place. And... Quick buy. Good purchase. All right, let's... Uh, let's see if I can get my helmet off again. You know, it sucks that you get somewhere once and you don't know how to get there again. Now, there is a tutorial that will need to be made for this. All right, so there was something that I saw here that, oh, actions. Player actions, phone, emote, oh, there's way too much. I guess they're making it good for, I mean, are they actually going to start making this for consoles? Is that why they're doing that? Or do more people play with? All right, good, we ate. All right, I'm feeling good about that. All right, and over here was a couple of empty buildings and we can go walk around here. All right, so let's go on the other side. Always is a good place to be, I guess. There should be more up over here, I hope. Nope, that's the oasis. So that's pretty much it. That's all we found over here. I know there's a lot more things to see. Alright, let's get out of this area. 
and this brings us back to apparel. Okay, so we're going to go back here. We're going to leave this area. We've been to Wally's. We got some clothes. We can put those clothes on anytime we want. Hopefully you could store things as outfits. That would be amazing. But you know, still, as much as there is here in Star Citizen, it's still not 100% ready for everybody to play because there's still a... There's still a feeling missing from the game that it's alive and that life when it's breathed into the game is going to make it so much better but for now the game is just missing that feeling that the people that inhabit it are actual living beings there are you know amazing people that play the game but the npcs which are supposed to outnumber the players by 10 to 1 just aren't making the game feel very much alive yet. And that's going to be something that comes in the future. So you're going to have more food places. We've been to this one. That's transit down there. We're not going to go down there. More food places. And I think this way over here, New Babbage Plaza, is where we can get some things for ourselves. Like over here... We have Planetary Services and Omega Pro. So this is where you can... Wow. A refinery. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is good. This is good. Making me happy. Need something? Yeah, how are you doing today? Oh, I don't know. Same as any other day, I guess. Hmm. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, fine. Oh, somebody else wanted to talk to him, I guess. Now, over here, this is Calliope Lounge. I guess you can just talk to your friends in here. Omega, Omega Pro. What's Omega Pro? Omega Pro is going to be... Oh, where you can buy some cool stuff. Can you go in? Oh, you can. Oh, boy. Oh, you can buy some cool things here. I mean, I think this is a shield generator, right? Yeah, just from the look of it, shield generator. Wow, cool. Nice place. All right, not going to do anything here right now, but I think that's cool. We're going to be starting fresh in the universe, so we're going to go take a couple of missions. Fly one over to Calliope if we can. Let's go this way. Business Quadrant. Okay. This was where we were before. Oh, no, it's not. This is the admin office, almost. They call it FTL, faster than light. I wonder if Felicia owns it. That's the job well, if I'm right. Yeah, that's where the job well is. MT Protection Services. And this will be closed. Okay. I thought there was one more place. Center Mass. I think that's it. There should be one more place. We came up this way, right? Or is this the way that we're going? Trade and Development Division, exit to transit. A factory line. And this is going to have... Oh, we already saw that. What's this going to have? Transit and Omega Pro. And this is going to have Planetary Services and Shubin Interstellar. Now, Shubin Interstellar, I think it was just like mining laser attachments and stuff. And all in all, pretty amazing.
And I don't think you could go in, but you could buy the stuff outside. And these are going to be mining consumables, mining laser heads. So I'm, I'm liking it. I think that this is one of the nicer areas so far. It's believable. And just a little bit too bright with the colors. Otherwise, I like it a lot. If we go back to the commons. And then down to transit. Let's get over to the spaceport and pick up a ship. And do a mission or two to one of the moons over here. See what we can get. That's Metro Loop. Let's go into the commons. Oh, we have to keep going down. Go figure. We want to make sure we get on the right one. We want to go to the spaceport, which is over here. And we're good. 14 seconds we have to wait. That's all. I'm not upset about that. Capsule now approaching station. Stand clear of disembarking passengers. There we go. Leaves in the 18 seconds, so we'll get on. I don't know which way is forward and which way is reverse, so we'll just stay right over here. Careful, doors are now closing. The doors are now closing. Very good. Things are looking good over here. Now, this is one of my complaints with almost everything that you do in this uh, game, and that's the interior lighting when you're outside is way too high, so you can't see the amazing sights outside. I would dim the lights just a little bit more in here, so at night you can actually see those spectacular views outside of this tube that the artist created. Like, they spent all that time on it. You should be able to see the views at night. So just like any kind of a subway car, I would just dim the lights a little bit in the forward and aft. You can keep the center high, but fore and aft of this center mass, I would just dim the lights. Okay. We're gonna go into the spaceport now and find a way to get our ship. Now things, I like the seafoam green look. It's pretty cool. And then you go into blue, all these colors, all the colors. All right, so we need to get into the elevator, I take it. And then go up to the spaceport. So this is kind of like being at uh, one of the airports, like when you take the subway into uh, LaGuardia in New York. I guess that would be good. So we're gonna go to the Inbis terminal. The Inbis. All right, we're up. Doors are open. And we're gonna go out this way. So far, I'm enjoying this one. Frame rate's in the uh, mid to high 40s. And I'm playing at uh Looks like 1920 by 1080 right now, which is better than what it was inside of the PTU for me. One of the other reasons I stopped playing was 20 to 35 frames per second was average. I wonder what these things are. It, it looked like I had a find before. Get your hands off the screen. No, I don't. Why are your hands on the screen? Stupidity. Make it so I can't read. All right, and here we are again in an area that should have a little bit dimmer lighting and a little bit less reflectivity on the glass. Get rid of the underlighting so you could see that gorgeous skyline at night. All right, so where do you get your ship? Okay, ship rentals are in here. 
that could rain to almost any ship. Let's see if they're smart enough to let people who don't own but could actually find the money to rent that prowler. What is going on? Where the hell did I go? How did I get back here? Oh, that's good. How do I get out of here? <laughs> all right. Well, we all wanted to be back here once. Now I'm back here. How do we get out? All right. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go to crouch. I can't jump back here. I did. Okay, good. That was just weird. And there it goes again. All right, are they going to let you rent anything from a Spira? Nope, they're not. You cannot rent here. You cannot rent one of the uh, Prowlers. That's uh, kind of disappointing for those that don't own one. All right, looks like this is where we pick a ship. But before we pick a ship, let's see if we can pick a mission that we're going to fly and see if we can go into Calliope. All right, so delivery from our corp now to Walla. Come on, be, be better than that. Um, Hurston, landing point, and New Babbage, no. Uh, Magda, okay, so I'm Magda. Ever's Harbor above Hurston the Han on Magda. All right, is there anything for where we are now? FTL is probably for where we are now. On Microtech. On Yella, that's not bad. This one goes from Shiva Mining Facility to Ita. I think Ida is one of the places that we can go to here. So I think it's one of the moons. Okay, let's see if we can get a ship. And I don't expect that they gave me one, but it's... Nope, they didn't. It's always good when they do, though. A lot of times they'll give you, like, one of those brand new ships to play with for a little bit, and uh, they just didn't do it here. I have a Stalker and a Titan and a Warlock. I have an Eclipse. Nope. None of those are going to work. Hammerhead, no. Retaliator, no. Saber, no. Arrow, no. Pisces. I think a Pisces might be fun to get around in this area. It's nice and small. Easy to get into places. Uh, Carrick, uh... I might want to take a something I haven't taken in a long time. Let's take the Dur. I don't think I've ever taken the DUR out. Yeah, I'm going to take the Dur. Takes me a little bit to decide, but finally pick it. And we're in Hangar 3. Okay. And I guess all we do is go over here and choose Hangar 3 when we get inside. Wow, the sound um, was before the actual action. So we are having a few minor glitches here. I love the new interaction with the buttons over here. Love it. I would have expected this to have different textures down here and to look nicer. I would have expected this to be like uh, the... It, wait, no doors. Is this happening again? No doors. Do we have no engines? Do we have no engines? We have engines, we don't have a door, do we? Is the door just... We do have a door, the lighting map is just broken. That's all. Okay. That was scary, because I was having that issue a lot. Why don't they have buttons to put it up and down inside? 
All right, good. 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 All right, let's go to Shubin Mining Facility, which I think is, well, let's get this baby in the air first. So first things first. Let's find where the buttons are again. Power on. Engines on. Hello. How can this help you today? You, Systems on. You can give me a communication menu. You are clear to launch. I think we're outside after that horrible... Are we actually moving? All right, we are moving. All right, let's get those up. Let's add a little bit of power into this. And the weather is horrible here like it always is. Let's just make sure we get ourselves up into the sky. And let's look for that wonderful image that we're going to look for. It's so much easier to find better photos or better images when you're flying in the ultra-wide screen that I can fly in on this monitor. It's so much easier, but it looks like I'm going to want that one right there. All right, we'll keep those, and we're going to go into our Moby Glass right now, take a look at our accepted mission, and see where we're going. We are going from... We're going all the way to Hurston on this one, so we're going from here to Hurston. So, delivery window, that's cool. So, where do we have to make that pickup? So, it's at SMO18. So, we're going to go to F2 now. Shouldn't it be showing all the different places that we could land here? SMO 18. It says that's point two away. Looks like it's right there. That's our pickup. Okie dokie. Now, I wonder if I have my helmet on. Nope. I'll have to put it on before we go outside. That's 1,000... Is that 1.135 kilometers, or is that 1,000 kilometers? That's the question. That looks like it's 1,000 kilometers away not just right next to us. So I'm going to try to take us up a little bit in altitude, and then we'll get there. Now, this HUD is not bad. The HUD that I, saw, that I was using inside of the 300i series is just so glowy blue that you can't see anything outside. This one's all right. I 
everything's looking good right now. I want to see from outside what's going on. Looks like we might not be moving that fast. Nope, we're not. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is just an amazing shot of Microtech. Microtech down below with either a sunrise or sunset going on. It looks like it's probably a sunrise. Let's see if we can get that in there. That's good. Happy about that. Alright, let's get inside the ship. Oh, did they really fix that? Oh, I am in heaven. My biggest complaint was every time you would come back in, Oh, well, no one's talking. That might be the reason. That might be the reason. I think we're going to be far enough to be able to pick up our, yep we are, and we will do our jump over to the mining facility. Well you would hope we would. There we go. Alright, so I'm a little bit rusty from not playing the game in a while, but I do have some upgrades here. I have the Warthog HOTUS system. I have the Monster Tech Warthog um, desk mounts. Um, I also... Did I upgrade my computer? No, I didn't. I didn't upgrade my computer. I put a new cooler inside of it. That's about it. Did not upgrade the computer. Still have the 3700X with a 2080 and 32 gigs of RAM and uh, 970 Pro SSD. I actually have the uh, game on an Intel um, 660p, two uh, gigabyte, or two terabyte drive. All right, here we go. 25 kilometers for our pickup. And we want to make sure our, let's see if this is going to help us out here. If I could. Engines off. Engines on. Don't you be dropping those engines off anymore, ever again. My cat just walked over and dropped a bug in front of me that she was playing with. Thank you for the gift, Sophie. You're so pretty. All right. Let's get ourselves down to the ground. That shouldn't be too hard here. Only 20 kilometers ago. And again, I want mouse look to be, like, I want this to be on all the time. Nice to look around the cockpit. Well, maybe I can use, um, let's see if I can use the built-in service that lets you do that. How do you get there? Here. Options. Head tracking. Mute microphone, no. Enable level activated voice transmission. All right. Where is it? Let's see if it works. I guess I have to calibrate it. All right, that's cool. Five, you know, five kilometers left. 
Gonna drop our speed a little bit. Make sure we don't overshoot it or come in too fast. I still can't see a thing outside the canopy, which is one of the major issues with lighting in the canopy. Lighting has to go off CIG or go to a very dim lit interior so you can see outside. Make it happen. Make it happen soon. It's way, way, way too lit up in this uh, cockpit. All right, coming in. 12, I'm gonna put out our landing gear. Landing gear down. Let's see where we have a place to go. I don't know what outside air temperature is. That should be something that shows up. Is this where we have to land? Where's the landing pad? You know what I mean? It's just not a very... Is there a landing pad here? I can't see a thing outside. Is this a landing pad? Yes, it is. How would you know? How would you know? They need a lot of work on the visuals inside of the cockpit. Now, for all this stuff that they're trying to do to make it look, oh, here's weather effects, here's, here's really cool interiors, they really need to understand what, it, what is needed to fly the plane or fly the spacecraft accurately. Landing successful. All right, we're down. I'm happy about that. Let's see if I remember all the old keystrokes. I do. All right, turn these freaking lights off. All right. I probably should have put my helmet on so I don't freeze. You'll see how fast I start to freeze. Fifty-one, sixty frames. Thirty-six degrees. It's thirty-six point five degrees Celsius. Is that below zero? I think so. Where's my status? Nowhere. Okay. We're making the pickup over here. We'll put the helmet on inside, folks. Oh, a little bit of a problem here. That definitely needs to be fixed. All right, let's... This really shouldn't be an airlock. We were starting to run out of air. All right, let's get our helmet on. And... Save it. And let's make that pickup, which should be over here. Now in the PTU, that's another reason why I was not playing so often, is that more often than not, these little runs that I was making with these boxes just weren't working. Oh, we have to do this. At least we have our helmet on this time. We have 99% oxygen, so we should be fine. Go back to the ship. Which is 200 meters away. Wow. That's a long way to walk. Was there another pad right here? This landing pad? How would you know? Oh, CIG. You go all out for visuals in the game, and you don't go out for playability. You've got to make it so you can see better. And the glow of your HUD should never keep you from seeing your environment that you're flying in. Otherwise, don't have a HUD. And the lighting in your 
spacecraft needs to be adjusted so when you're in flight during the night well that looks real <laughs> that's cool Things are getting so much better, but there's still a long way for them to come. Close the door. I'm going to put this in the center, just for poops and giggles. I'm going to put it right down over here. Alright, let's go get this thing taken care of. Next stop, Hurston system. I know I wanted to go to one of the moons here. Why can't I get into my... Oh, that was going to annoy me. All right, is there a lights off button? No, there's not. There should be no lights in this cabin. Turn the freaking things off. All right, it's just something for their list of things to do. But that should be something that always happens. Because look outside. I see the lighting coming from in the cockpit. All that lighting, I don't see outside. And that's just just not right. All right, let's uh, get this thing off the pad. Launch sequence complete. All right, landing gear up. Deck collision? What are you talking about? We're pointed up in the sky 40 degrees. Alright, so F2 up. Let's zoom out. Let's go to Hurston. Ida? Things are just a little bit off in every way in this game right now. All right, that's off. That's off. All right, let's get going. Lift this up. Let's get ourselves out of the atmosphere as quickly as possible. We do have our helmet on now, so we should be okay. And as long as we're inside our... Our oxygen is going to stay at 100%. Once we leave here, it will start to deplete. All right, we're going to run one mission, one box, and that's going to be it for today. So what I'm doing today is I'm trying to look at frame rate. The frame rate for me has been a solid 40 to 60 frames per second. I am capping it at 60 because I wanted to film at 60 FPS. I thought I'd be able to get a solid 60 FPS all the way through. I was incorrect, but... It's a huge improvement over everything that was before. A couple of things that we might be waiting for here on Star Citizen is going to be the implementation of the Vulcan engine. I don't know if that's happened yet. If it does the same thing here as it did over at my uh, light sim experience in X-Plane 11, I think we're going to get huge frame rate increases when they do go to Vulcan. The question is, did they already do Vulcan, or is that something coming up? That's just gorgeous. That is a worthy image. That's good. All right, let's get going towards this delivery drop-off point. We should be able to make it at this point. Oh, no, we have a little bit more to get out of the atmosphere. I'm going to point us up at, like, 45. I keep forgetting this isn't a orbital... Like, we don't use orbital mechanics in this game. We just point ourselves in a direction and go. And we'll lift it up. 
We're only at 10,000 meters. We got to be more like 20 or 30 to get out of the atmosphere on this on this particular planet. Where are we now? 13? Yeah. Not gonna let us go yet, are you? It might. Is that truly locking on to the right thing, though? That's the question. We'll find out. Let's go. And we're off. And counting down from 38 million kilometers. And it doesn't look like it's going that quick. So we're gonna take this and uh, pretty much fly in quantum for a bit. I'll say this, for whatever it is, maybe the lighting, maybe the better effects that are on the ships now, it just looks incredible now. Yeah, I know I have my issues with the game, but my issues with the game are my issues. They're not the game's issues. Certain things that I feel that should be different. Of course, we don't have a game yet. We still just have a very big setting. We don't have that rich storyline that Chris wants to bring into every part of the game from the single person to all the missions that you could run in the multiplayer online experience but we do have a working version of this uh sorry about that we do have a working version of of what is going to be the set or setting for this game and it's starting to look much nicer every single update they bring out I can't say I'm still not disappointed. I am still disappointed that we're not further along in development, but I am impressed with each patch they bring out, regardless of the number of bugs and number of issues that they cause me. There's still more good than bad in each and every one of them. And like we, we as players need to know that as long as it's in alpha, there's always going to be bugs because bug cleaning really doesn't take place until beta. So each new system, each new patch, each new ship, each new area that you get to go to is going to bring with it a few bugs or more bugs that may or may not be fixed in a, a near term. But what I can say is that things things in the game if you like that freestyle play and you just don't need all the missions that you would have in other games you don't need rich storyline and you just want a sandbox to fly around in it's actually pretty good it's good on a level that we haven't seen from another game it is just incredible i don't know how they they ever got this far with it with us still loving everything that they bring us. If you think about how long we've been waiting for this, those of us that love the game and are just very much um, accepting of the long you know, of the extended timetables to bring this game out, those of us that are that are waiting for it, you know, we can be frustrated and upset and outright angry at times on our own, but when we get in the game we just see that vision that's coming down the pipe from Chris Roberts and each and every one of these patches just brings more and more and more of that imagined universe to us and I'm beginning to really long for better gameplay inside of this because it's it's a travesty that we have something so gorgeous and it's still freestyle play yeah, there are some missions, but the missions are disconnected. They, they don't make up any kind of a storyline. They don't affect lore. They don't affect anything but you and your ability to get those missions done. And while they're fun, 
And while they're needed in the game right now, so they can test those mechanics on how these missions will work in the future, once you do them once or twice, you're kind of done with them, but then, you know, there are some that are coming that you might only be do able to do once. And I'm talking about a uh, mission, if you go back a couple of um, videos ago for Star Citizen, they announced that they had some kind of mission coming out that would only be able to run once, and if you wanted to run it again, you'd have to go find somebody that hadn't run it before. And I just find that to be self-deprivating? Oh no, it's just causing you too much issue. What I am finding right now is all that frost that built up on the outside of the ship is still there regardless of us being in that environment or not, so I would call that a bug. That's something that has to be fixed, that when you leave that area, things start to uh, melt or go away. All right, so this wasn't too bad of a mission, not too bad of a video. It was my first impressions. I am liking 3.9. There's a lot more content for me to get into. I will be, stre be streaming later on today, which is the 30th, is it the 29th? The 29th of April. I'll be streaming later on tonight. All right, where did we wind up going? Let's take a look at where we are and where we have to go. Oh, that's a mining claim? Alright. Let's go into F2. I thought we were getting close to where we were going. All right, let's get this right down the pipe. We're there. We have a, a whopping 1 million kilometers to go, or 1.2 million, to get to Hurston. That shouldn't take too long at all. And then we got to jump over to Ida, which should only be a couple hundred thousand kilometers at max. And here we come. Here's Hurston sitting in front of us. And we pop out of quantum, quantum jump. Alright. And we gotta turn this way to get to Ida. 117. Let's get ourselves over there before somebody figures out we're here and starts to blow us up. Quantum travel. This one should go rather quickly. It's just a jump to a moon, which really doesn't take long at all. By the time you hit the button, you're already halfway through the trip. Alright, there we are. Now it's just down to the delivery drop-off zone. Alright. And that was a quick cool down. 681, so it will be on the other side of the planet, or other side of the moon, so we should be pretty light on the other side, so I won't have as many complaints about what time of day it is. Or it could be on the absolute opposite side of the planet, and it will be dark over there, so... Two different things could happen. Nope, it's on the light side, so I'll be able to see everything outside the cockpit window and not be able to complain. So you will not hear me complain, hopefully, for the next five minutes of this. So folks, I'm, I'm impressed. 
I've got a long way to go. I still have to go get myself arrested and test out the prison system. I don't think I'm going to like that at all, basically. I don't think it's the right course of action to take in a game like this, but who knows? Maybe it will be fun in the end. You know, being able to work off your debt instead of having to pay lots of money inside of the uh, inside of the different uh, violation repayment kiosks. Just making sure that my HODIS is secure over here. Alright, we're actually pretty low. I'm hoping that it's not too cold, not too hot, not too windy, not too dry, not too wet on this planet, but, well, on this moon, but who knows. I think the Kirsten moons tend to be a little bit hotter, don't they? And then R-Corp and uh, Microtech tend to be a little bit more icy, as opposed to the Crusader moons, which tend to be a little bit more temperate. Alright, 10 kilometers to go going about as fast as we should go in atmosphere in this ship. Let's take a look from the outside, see if we're missing anything. Well, I do like Planetary Tech V2, you know, version 4, is it? It's just amazing. All right, down to just over five and a half K. And coming in strong. Still going about 141 meters a second. That's faster than it sounds, folks. Alright, so it looks like it's on a plateau. That won't be so bad. Alright, let's get down within a kilometer and drop our gear. Looks like we have two pads. Two landing pads, that's not bad. Okay, good. I'm gonna try to get on the one closer to it. It looks like there might be something on it. Something small. Nope, it's just a light. Right, as we push over a little bit, and we back off the throttle. Front collision. Chill out, bitch and Betty. Collision. Collision. Like I said, chill out, bitch and Betty. And zero degrees. And we start to lower the ship to the ground. Landing successful. All right, looks like we're done here, folks. Thank you for staying with me on this wonderful trip that we took from Microtech to Ida. Um, we're going to try in the next few videos I do to explore as much of Microtech and its moons as we can. I think that will make for some great videos. And we're just going to do some exploration videos like we did here. Okay, let's get this up. Wow, what an atmosphere. All right, there's our drop-off point. Let's get inside, make some money. We spent a lot of money on clothes today. We should be able to make that back in no time, though. We have enough ships that have large capacities that we can go out and run a little bit of cargo, or we can go out with my prospector and make some money by mining to make up for all that we lost. But here we are. So if you like the video, folks, please click the thumbs up button below. 
If you do wind up subscribing, clicking that notification icon that looks like the bell will keep you up to date with my all my latest videos. And now it's future Nikki speaking to everybody. I know I was just about ready to close out, but you're going to see me make a little bit of a mistake here. But I'm putting together a state of the game that has my true opinion of what's going on here. Um, I, I do love a lot of the additions in this game, but there's just some bugs that still are persistent that are driving me crazy. And I want to just bring them out in a state of the game so people know one of the main reasons why I haven't been playing the game oh, as the much. I do believe in the project. I do believe that at some point in the future Star Citizen is going to be ready for all of us to play. I just think that it is still, well, it's still a work in progress. And if you do have uh, the intestinal fortitude to survive a game play session and... Uh, do find it fun, which I do at times, uh, I, I totally support you. And if you don't, please just bear with them a little bit. It's going to be, a, uh, I, I would say, about another year, and you'll have something that's much more playable and something that's much more interesting for those of you that aren't here for the testing aspect of it. Anyway, something? with that said, folks, you all be safe out there, Go and ahead, I will down. talk to you soon.